I have this old unit project which I made when I had an assignment about character mechanics. The mechanics I made include things like sliding, dashing, crouching, whatever. And the most important mechanic which I made was this wall running effect, which is the one I'm going to show you today on how to make. So yeah, let's do this. I'll also leave a link in the description for the GitHub Respiratory if you want to take a look at it yourself personally. But yeah, have fun. So here I have my FPS controller. For it to work you need to have a layer mask for the wall lab which we're going to use the wall running on. Some components for the character controller and the camera. Some variables for your WSD inputs. And two bools, one for your running and one is interrupted which I'm going to show you a bit what it's about. I'm not going to show you how to set up the basic movement, but instead I'm going to redirect you to Bracky's first person mo movement video where he makes an FPS controller. And when you've set that up, then you can get back onto this video. So first thing, you're going to define the is running bool variable. The is running bool variable is defined when we hold down the left shift key and the W button. Then, at the top of my handle jump function, I'm shooting a array card, one to the right side and one to the left side, if the right side doesn't hit, which is going to try and hit a wall. Also, I want to make sure that I'm holding down the space button and I'm actually running for the raw one to start running. And then we start a coroutine called wall run, which I'm going to show you what is right now. My wall run I enumerator has three arguments. The direction of the object, the hit.normal, a bool which states which side we are hitting it from, the left or the right side, and a flow for my y velocity that I'm currently having in the gravity, which will maybe set up in the brackets video. Then we're gonna use the is interrupted bool and set it to true, which will then cancel all other inputs we're doing while roll running. Then I'm going to calculate the target direction use, using vector.cross where I'm going to use my character's transform.up vector with the direction of the normal. And if you don't know what a vector cross product is, I'm going to show you right now. So here I've pulled up Geographer where I have this flat surface which we're going to assume is our wall. We have a red vector, this is the hit.normal in this case. And the blue vector is the tr player's transform dot up. If you then see, if I cross these two vectors, then we will make a new vector, the black one, which go alongside the plane. And in this case, from the right side, let's just assume that. And if it's the left side, we just take the negative of the red, red vector and we go across the other side. And when you see this, this starts making sense. We can use this new crossed vector to move aside a wall. Now let's continue where we left off. I'm using an if else statement to see which side I'm on. If I'm on the right side, let's just take that as an example. Then I run a while loop, which will continuously shoot a ray cast to check if we're still hitting the wall on the right side. I then recalculate the target direction and I also take my mo movement vector and normalize it. Then right before we do the movement I'll just quickly calculate if we either press up the space button or our current stamina reaches zero. Then after that we then can take the target direction and I'll times it by the speed. After that I also add on the y velocity to add my gravity component and then I just take and move my controller along the target direction. Then I set my actually velocity to zero from uh, the brackets video and then I just add on my y velocity with the gravity scale and then I do that as a substitute for the, for the normal velocity. Then if the while loop then says oh I'm not hitting the wall anymore when we go outside of it and just as the is interrupt back to false and then we have finished the wall running. In the else statement is the exactly same, just that we are shooting the ray cast on the left side. And that's it. Of course I'll leave a 
link to the github repository so you can just download this project if there's something i didn't cover then you can just down download it or just take the code and try and figure it out yourself and also if you like the video please like and subscribe thank you bye